Hello and welcome to Open Palms. I'm back to my old mic and this is uh, going to be nice. I won't have too much game sound, but I'll just have me talking without too much noise and hopefully a good volume. I'll try to uh, fix uh, these problems in the next few days, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, we got the tourney, uh, the best of Open Palms. Here we got TJ versus Lucian. This is round one. And I'll probably do quite a few of these later on in the day, or maybe tomorrow for some people. We'll see if I can do a couple of these now. TJ, of course, the EF, uh, whole bunch of mass structures directly with AC, looks like the engineers, uh, won't get much to do, probably rushing, uh, to the Hydro. And Lucian, uh, you never really want to face Lucian going second air, playing Cybern. So, let's see, you got an early Hunter from Lucian, always nice to go right down the middle looking for bombers, uh, and this is going to be a massive last pan from TJ. Still no air from TJ, so he's going to have to deal with the Lucian Cybern Bomber. And given how good Lucian is with bombers, uh, you always got to expect him and uh, got to kill this as soon as possible. Here we got a tank uh, from TJ and this Hunter. He just might run into this tank. It'll be very close. It's a good defense early on. TJ gets a kill. Scouts here protecting uh, this engineer from uh, Lucian. One thing, yeah, this is EF, so mech marines are definitely a possibility from TJ, but he has not made any. He's been very defensive, just making strikers. But you can see scouts on both uh, sides here for Lucian. He's got the radar coverage. He's not expecting much up the middle, but he's got to protect his expanding engineers. His expanding engineers are crucial on open palms if you can get. Uh, this control and uh, point defense already planned for Lucian. If you can get point defenses on the sides, you're in very good shape. Here we see the striker retreating against two hunters. Here come the bombers from Lucian. Minute three and uh, actually air factory. I, I missed this. TJ going third air and this could be very crucial. He's already making interceptors. The ACU for TJ is a little more uh, aggressive it seems. Now this hunter for Lucian could cause trouble if it kills that engineer. Here comes the bomber for Lucian. And uh, uncharacteristic, oh no, here, here's the bomb. There goes an engineer that wasn't doing anything. And also drops another bomb on the factory. Interceptors. And actually that was for the most part a miss. Looks like a, a, a dodge by that engineer bad things happening all over the place now for TJ he's lost his power production at the same time he is fighting on uh, either side uh, these hunters have denied any expansion and multiple bombers now and the interceptors for Lucian totally controlling it. that's the second air versus third air it looks like no assist it's just straight up uh, interceptors one thing we didn't see is some flak. Flak would have been really nice, but it's hard to make flak one. And oh wow, transport. This is not what you'd want to make in the situation. Very expensive power unit. It looks like eco for TJ is fine. Lucian also quite nice. The ACU for TJ being very aggressive, trying to deny that expansion. And a pretty nice uh, looking force from TJ moving out in the direction of Lucian's ACU. But in terms of rating, so much better for Lucian. He's got units on either side of this base. Probably will come in, deny those three mass extractors. And but this transport somehow, uh, Lucian allowing TJ to get uh, units up on the high ledges. The ACU for TJ get grabbing a couple of mass extractors. This point defense finished. This is that crucial point defense from very early on. Will cause a lot of damage to the ACU. And it looks like Lucian with five kills, a bunch of strikers ran into him. And that transport is going to get taken out. I was very ambitious to get this transport. The single engineer and both ledges flying through the middle. See the last spam still on. Power production has restarted. So TJ doing quite well, except he has been uh, very much in trouble in terms of expanding to the bottom. His expansion to the top also looks like suffered quite a bit of losses. But this is a good raiding party that ran to pass the ACU. And a point defense for uh, Lucian. See if that gets finished in time. Also, some bombers. 
playing defense. Looks like TJ lost a bit of health and uh, unable to break through this point defense. Retreats. A good force here from TJ should be moving down. And this this is very timely. They took out the point defense. There'll be three mass extractors denied unless these tanks get killed by the bomber. And also some units moving in as well. They see evolution moving down. And this is a little disorganized now from TJ, kind of thrown uh, quite a few tanks at Lushan's AC. You don't want to do that. On the other side, pretty good. Oh no, this is excellent. Mantis is going to get so many mask structures. So raiders all around uh, TJ. The middle also belongs to Lushan. So Lushan, very much in uh, control of, uh, of the map. Looking at the mass, he's got about 700. He's got a total of. 32 mask extractors, 32 tech ones. He's got a couple tech twos as well. TJ only has 18, and that's the huge difference in map control. A lot ma less mass, which is going to turn into really big forces. And this point defense, not something you want to run into. Looks like a drop. Uh, this is going to be denied. No, no mask, no factories here up on top for TJ. He's going to lose both the top ledges. And yet another point defense for Lucian. So you can see the formula here for Lucian. Good rating, good air. And then uh, get point defenses and expansions. He's got those all over the place. He's, he tried to get one in the back. This was a very crucial one. This will be a very big pain for TJ. Lucian now retreating with ACU, getting quite a bit of veterancy. We also see some Tech 2. whole bunch of uh, rhinos coming out for Lucian. We don't see any Tech 2 yet for uh, TJ, and that's really going to make a big mark. This is the only reason that TJ still has a pretty similar numbers of units, because Lucian did invest in a bunch of Tech 2. And once that gets on the field, the Tech 1 forces for TJ are going to start dying. This is about minute 11. Lucian, uh, way too much mass for what he's doing. He's about to got 1,000 power. TJ about 700 power and uh, big mass problems. Uh, Lucian together with his units. TJ is there as well. No upgrades for either ACU. But TJ now losing one of his expansions. No point defense. That's one big difference. A point defense would really help for TJ. And this is a really good one as well for Lucian. Something to retreat to. It's very uh, safe for the ACU. And now we're going to have some bombers and the Tech 2 move in. TJ is going to face a superior force. You see Lucian here uh, able to play pretty dangerously because he's got such good uh, units to retreat to. And here we see the Tech 2s make the appearance. And this will be full retreat for TJ. TJ having massive problems in the back all over the place. Really, he only has parts of his expansion left, his main base with no upgrades. He just does not have the mass to produce units, not getting bombed. Lucian's going to get some upgrades. Very methodical from Lucian. Just taking what's given to him and uh, now thinking about moving in. He probably could. But this is a pretty large force from TJ. Don't want to take risks. No tech 2 for TJ yet. That's uh, a big issue. We got similar air forces it seems TJ now getting some mask tractors and easels badly and now the tech 2 forces from Cybern not a good situation for the strikers and you can see how Lucian continues to change directions that way the artillery from UEF, very slow reload, will miss. That was quite simple for the stuck to force. A routine mission that uh, is successful. Lucian now oh, seems he's got stealth and gun. A lot of reclaim too. Some engineers put it going into this position, doing some patrolling. And now it looks like TJ is going to be isolated from his base. And those units will not be able to save this ACU. Uh, 
and a pretty good game. Uh, 15 minutes against uh, Lushan on the open palms is not bad at all, uh, and a pretty good game for both players.